What's happening guys? Welcome to this week's episode and this one we're just going on a quiet little trip only about eight kilometers away from home upstream on the River Murray to a little place called Woods Point and it's a little spot down by the river that not many people know about except for a few of the locals and now you guys so I'm probably going to get in the shit for letting you know but it is a great little spot I'm hoping there's no one there and uh, the plan is pull the van up now there is a bit of a levee bank you've got to drive down but I, it shouldn't be too bad I think my wheelbases or, or the height uh, should be okay to get down it and I'm just going to camp there have a relaxing day and probably tomorrow camp the night uh, just relax after last week's bit of a hectic yabbying trip uh, chuck the rods in see if we can catch any fish and uh, hopefully we can do a catch and cook or something like that but uh, we've got to see if it's free first because the little spot at Woods Point will probably only hold about four or five cars and maybe only about three or four tents uh, and caravans so I'm hoping there's no one there if there's people there well you won't even see this I'll be going somewhere else so uh, that's the plan so I better turn the camera around now and show you guys what I'm looking at which also means it's time to start the music So here we are guys, camping spot for the night, Woods Point, about halfway between Jervois and Murray Bridge on the Adelaide side of the river. Great little spot, we've fluked it today on a Sunday, no one else here. Okay, this water is a lot warmer than the beach down at Robe. I'll just loosen this up. All right, we're gonna go for a swim. I was gonna go for a swim anyway. I got the head cam on. Now I don't know how deep it gets and how quick here, but. Water, oh, a few rocks. Pretty rocky here. Ooh, maybe it's not that warm. <sighs> Right, we got the the line here. Oh, it's nice and cool. Come on, fishy, come out of here. I'm gonna get you. I don't know which way I've got this camera facing. 
hopefully that's about right. Oh, water's nice. I should have loosened this line a bit, I think. So I've got it in my hand. <laughs> that's the line I'm talking about. And he's swum into a snag back here. Oh, hang on. If I get back behind it. <sighs> so while we're here, the main road to Melbourne and Adelaide, oh, it's come out, oh, I've got it, is straight over there. So I think I've got a fish. There's Jason's rocked up. Oh. Oh, I don't know what I've got here. The main highway to Adelaide is just up on the hill over there. So that's about probably 80 k's out of Adelaide. Adelaide to the left, Melbourne to the right. It's oh, found another snag. I'm going to have to swim back out. One last tug. Oh, come on. <coughs> Wind it in. I've broken it. Fish one. Mark zero. Okay, we've got a water rat there. I've heard they taste like chicken. Okay, guys, we're on. We've caught something. There we go. Let's bring it around here. What's that? Hang on. Get down here on the bank. It's putting up a bit of a fight. It's a squid. We've caught a squid tube. Finally, I've got a squid. Unbelievable. Can you guys see that? It's taken me a few weeks, but we have finally got a squid. So, uh, hang on, he's still, still wobbling around a bit, we're going to have to kill him, we'll get him up on the bank here, so we've uh, actually got a squid tube here, we're going to have to get up here, I think the best way is just to hit it on the head with a hammer, he's still shaking a little bit there. One short hit on the head. <laughs> so I hope you can see this, guys. We've cleaned up the squid. Now we just got to put some score marks in it. Not all the way through. Just do that all the way across there. And we'll turn it around. Get a 45 degree angle. We're going to chop it into pieces, just bite-sized pieces. Give those another clean up in a minute. And then we'll uh, probably make salt and pepper squid. Or today, maybe lemon pepper squid I reckon so uh, I'll get it all ready and then we'll get it cooking not too sure about the angle of my camera on my head cam but we've got a bit of corn flour here I've already mixed a little bit of salt with it but we're going to mix a bit of lemon pepper in there get a decent amount of that in there That's got a bit more in there, so that should be plenty. Give that a bit of a shake around. We've given the calamari a bit of a clean, dried it off a bit. And calamari in the bag. Give that a good shake around, seal her up.
and uh, we're gonna get the chips started I bought some chips so we'll get them cooking and uh, then we'll get back to the calamari in a minute all right we're just heating up the oil now got the cooker going first time I've used this one my other one got sold with the houseboat but uh, you can't get a better background than that. So we're going to cook the chips first because the calamari won't take long. And uh, once the chips are cooked, we'll put them over on the paper towels there and then we'll chuck the calamari in. And uh, we should be ready to go. Now the most important thing with this recipe is while you're waiting for the oil to heat up, you must have a little uh, glass of scared of the dark medicine and uh, that'll make everything taste good now the trick with the chips and normally if I make them myself you've got to triple blanch them in other words cook them three times just get them quarter done bring them out let them cool down put them back in again bring them out let them cool down and then give them the last one and they will be crispy on the outside and crunchy on the out on the inside quick what did i say that port's working they'll be crispy on the outside and soft in the middle but i've just got the old cheapo crinkle cut ones i think it was two bucks a bag we better just see how the heat's going oh nearly there not quite hot enough yet leave it a touch longer Okay, time to get a few chips in there and try not to burn myself. That's looking good. Need a few more. So it didn't take long for those chips to cook. So we'll get them out. Okay, we need to shake a bit of this flour off now. You don't want too much on there. Get them in there as quick as I can. Well, it just came up that my SD card failed, so I'm hoping we've got this. I've had to change the SD card. If I've lost the footage, well, there's the chips we cooked up first. We've got the calamari in here. That's getting pretty close. As I was trying to say before it's stuffed up, usually you'd finish these off in a fry pan with a bit of garlic, a bit of onion, and that'll brown it up with a bit of... Uh, sauce in there with it or oil and that'd brown them up but we're not going to do that we're just going to cook them for about another 30 seconds and uh, we should be ready lemon pepper calamari there we go guys all plated up lemon pepper calamari and chips with this beautiful background of the river murray and I did forget a fork, so we're just going to use the knife here. Seems pretty soft in the middle, so I think we've cooked it about right. Got a beautiful bit of crunch to it. Okay, I realise my scores have been up a little bit high lately, but this really is sensational. Cooked to perfection. The lemon pepper variety just finishes it off nicely. My mouth's still watering. 9.1. That's my review. Brilliant. Just to finish up on this calamari, it is actually sensational. No stringy bits into it, not chewy, just beautiful. We'll put one little bite through it. And that's how it comes up. Fantastic.